Hey everyone, it's Sandy and I just have a few layouts I want to share with you so I can get stuff put away. I've been working on some layouts without making videos. I know that I posted on Instagram and things like that, but I want to go ahead and just do a share with you guys to show you what I've been up to. So um, this is one layout I completed using this, um, I want to say it's from Pebbles, I'm not sure though. But it's this little gold collection, all these little shiny gold pieces. Uh, I bought a sheet from Alice on her Etsy shop and I used it in two layouts and I still believe I have a few more left if Gabby hasn't gotten a hold of it yet. But anyways, so I used some chipboard uh, pieces that I got from Tuesday morning and just some scrap pieces of paper. And I completed this layout which is Gabby eating a huge piece of pizza which I still need to journal about here at Sam's. So I just thought it was a really cute picture. and. I threw some sequins on there and everything, so I really like the way that came out. Here's another one. This is from when we went to Destin over the summer, and this is Isabel. So she, we were eating at at Fud Puckers, and she had this tentacle finger thing, and she made it like a mustache. I thought that was really cute. And then we were at a gift shop, and she was trying to listen to the ocean in the shell. So I thought that was cute. And I thought these were perfect for it, because whenever will I use a boat again? <laughs> so I used the boat, and he, I think these are Studio Calico um, stars that I had, and all these little gold, really shiny ones, they came from that packet. And I believe it was a Pebbles pack. I'm sorry, I don't have the packaging anymore. But I really do like the way that one came out. So I just did a lot of stamping and things like that. Here's another page that I finished up. And this has some chipboard pieces, again, from something that I got. I think it's from a crate paper collection that I got at Tuesday morning for like $1.99 or something. And it was a 12 by 12 um, of chipboard. So, yeah, I just did some layering on there. And um, what I talked about was how we were going to get uh, our our new dog. So we lost our boxer, we had a boxer for like nine years and she passed away over the summer. So we promised a girl we would get one and then we found um, her, which is Izzy, and we were on our way to get one and we didn't tell the kids until I think that morning or the, the night before, I'm, I forget. So we brought her home that day. So we were really excited and I did this page for it. This page I already did. This keeps falling off. I can't get it to stay on. I probably have to hot glue it. But anyways, I just did this page the other day and just did a layout for it. So I'm not really going to talk about it. So now the other big thing that I have completed is um, I told you guys I was kind of in the Halloween mood because of the crap. Uh, Cindy for kiddos. She's been doing all these Halloween series and stuff. So I was so motivated. So the weekend my parents were visiting, I believe when they left, I went into some of my boxes and I got our older pictures out and I scrapped them all in Project Life. These are Becky Higgins, Simple Stories, and I think Photo Freedom page protectors. And then I just pulled out all my old Halloween stuff, which I didn't have a lot, but I have enough to get me through this Halloween thing because I don't do a lot. I mean, we go trick-or-treating pumpkin patches but I was able to use up a lot of my stuff and I'm not buying any Halloween this year so this is what I've completed so I'm really excited totally love this I think what I'm gonna do is get all the past seasons or get togethers or birthday kind of how I'm doing my travel Tuesday like everything's in just one binder I don't really care how you know what order it's in but I think I'm gonna do the same for like this is a Halloween from 2010 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 aren't in here because I had already started my, my project life so I don't have a lot of pictures floating around if I find some I will add them to it but I thought about getting this and then like getting all my past Thanksgiving pictures together all my past Christmases that I've never scrapped and putting them all into like a holiday binder and um, just to use up some of the product that I have so I'm so excited I will be done with my Halloween stash this year this is all I have left right here it's not much I have bits and pieces and a six by six pad but I am going to be doing some kind of swap so I'll be using that stuff up for sure before it gets here so anyways let me go into this so um this is back in 2010 when the girls were pretty little still look at them Gabby was just a baby she was born in February and it was October here and there's Isabel pushing her and I just use these are like from the Mambi thing I um, mean that me and my big ideas from last year these are just some stickers I had so I mean I didn't do a lot of journaling on them but I just love the way the pages came out because at first it's fun to finally get them in 
like page protectors right and second it's just fun to see how the kids have grown so see this was just like a little Martha Stewart um those things that she had uh these uh what are they called I'm trying to look for one sorry I think I've used them all but they're like little plasticky things and I just glued it to here and stamped hey little monster and there's just pictures of the girls right here I love this picture of Isabel and Gabby it was just during the fall so in the in the winter not in the winter I'm sorry in the fall we do a lot of pumpkin patches we do some apple picking if we can and then we go trick-or-treating with the girls so these are kind of like my fall uh halloween pictures so and look at gabby she's giggling isabel used to love to push her in that swing and she would just make her giggle and giggle it was so fun so i just uh, did a little journaling right there and then this is the same year this is still 2010 and this is a pumpkin patch that we go to where my parents live and um me and richard actually started going to this pumpkin patch when we were dating so it's always fun to take the girls we don't get to go to this one every year but we try and make it and then this is also the year that uh let's see i know we've talked about it before but this is yeah this is the year that my brother had passed away actually we it, he passed away on the first of october Isabel's birthday was on the 5th which was the same day that he was buried and then I stayed that week at my parents and my kids had no clue what was going on and I just needed to get away for a little bit so I took the kids to the pumpkin patch and I'm glad that I went because we still did something that was kind of normal and things like that and like I said the kids didn't know what was going on but that's just something I'll never forget so what I did is I wrote it right here and in the back I journaled all about it and my sequence came off so um anyway so I journaled about that right there and if the kids ever pull that out when they're older then they can read about you know read about how we went to that pumpkin patch and it was a good break for me and it was something fun for the kids to do and you know we still kept up with our tradition so and this is a picture of Isabel over there when she picked a little pumpkin that she wanted and there's Isabel and Gabby oh, I just love these pictures are so cute so why do they have to grow up so quick right and then see at that pumpkin patch you can like pull this little wagon and stuff and they kept filling it up with little bitty pumpkins and things and I don't even think Gabby was walking she was just pulling up and standing and then so that was fun and see how I just use these another like Martha Stewart piece I just put it on a card this one I just cut up six by I mean 12 by 12 paper that I have and yeah so I just kind of slipped my pictures in wrote very little journaling on some of them and then let's see and then here's the back here's another pumpkin patch this is one that we go to in Cleveland closer to where we are and I think this time his parents went with us to this pumpkin patch so and this patch is really cool because they actually take you on a um on a wagon like to the pumpkin patch and you can like you know take your pumpkin off of the vine like it's not standing you know sitting in pretty little rows like you can actually go to the patch and pick what pumpkin you want so that was a cute one and I like that picture of Gabby and I love that one of Isabel so and it's really cool they have like petting zoos and different things like that so here's some more and this little owl thingy I just got him from the dollar store I got like it was like 15 die cuts for a dollar or something of that owl so I have him and just using up some more of my stuff that I already had and Isabel was wearing that cute little witch's hat I thought it was adorable so I just and I like I forget how much I like doing the six by six yeah the six by six uh pages right here because they're like little mini scrapbook pages so that was a lot of fun to do and then this one's of Gabby when she was just standing and we had her all decked out in her little uh, Halloween thing and this is a cutout I still have from when I had my Cricut a long long time ago I found a few cutouts that I had so I added that one in there we're still here at the same one there's a picture with me and Richard and the kids that's when we're riding the wagon and see there's more of a Martha Stewart thing that I just put down behind a backing and yeah so I am so excited to get these in a page and like it was fun to work on this stuff because I'm ready for fall to get here 
So, and this is another pumpkin patch that we go to. It's called Burt's. It's in Georgia. It's about, um, I don't know, maybe two hours from us, but it's so cool. They have huge, huge, huge pumpkins, rows and rows and rows of them and all kinds of stuff to do. And when we go to that one, we get to go pumpkin, uh, apple picking too. So it's a lot of fun. We usually spend the whole day out there. So see, I just put a little card there, filler card here and filled it up with pictures. So it was a lot of fun. Pretty easy to get it done, you know, within, I think I got all this done within the week or so, a week and a half or so. And so, yeah, this is just another one. So we're, now we're like in 2000, what, 10? So this would be like 2011. I need to probably date that somewhere. But anyways, you know, here's the kids, same patch over there near my parents that we took them to. And so here we go. So more pictures, this is fun to see how they're growing and things so yep just added some little things all across right here because I was running out of pictures but I wanted to use these on one page and then here's Gabby which these are two well three of my favorite pictures so I love this picture because it's so cute they're like taking the wagon and they're both trying to pull the wagon trying to go get their pumpkin and then Gabby's carrying this little baby pumpkin and she looks so determined <laughs> And she's got that sucker in that hand. It's hilarious. I love that picture. And then Isabel just looks so sweet in this with her two little baby pumpkins right there. So I thought that was cute. And these are just two cutouts again from my Cricut that I had that I went ahead and threw in here just to get them done. Get them used up. And then my last two pages are, this is a picture I have of the kids um, when they were dressed up in one of their costumes. I don't have a lot of their costume pictures. I think because they're in the other Project Life ones and these are just ones I had floating around. But Isabel was a little bumblebee. That's Brady. Uh, Stacy's son and he was Mr. Potato Head. And then Gabby was Elmo. So and then I just used filler cards right here because I didn't have anything else. And there's me and Gabby as Elmo. Her as Elmo. And I think I only have Ga Isabel. I mean Gabby because Isabel was actually trick-or-treating Gabby every time we went to a door and she had a piece of candy she would sit back in her stroller and just eat the candy in her bucket until she was ready to go get some more candy so Isabel was off trick-or-treating and this is just me and Stacy and we were at um I think like at TJ Maxx or something they had these witches hats and we were gonna go eat meet the boys at the restaurant or whatever and uh so we had this picture and we texted it to them we were like the witches are ready so we sent that to them and this is when we went to, what do you call that place? Dollywood. And she has it all decked out in the fall with pumpkins and all kinds of things like that. All beautiful flowers. So these are just some pictures that I had. And then these are pictures from not I, maybe last year. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But anyways, that I had from another, that Burt's pumpkin one that we go to. And that's a huge pumpkin that Richard bought and carved for the kids. So yeah. So that's what I've been up to other than the videos that you've seen. I've caught up on all of these. If I find any more um, Halloween pictures, I will just go ahead and add this. I'm going to add this into a project. Well, I need to buy one. I need to buy a Project Life Binder, a new one, and add those in. And I will be done with those. Yeah, so I'm just going to throw these in the iris case. Project Life Binder, that's it. And I have one more thing to show you guys. The other thing I've been working on is my art journal, which I know you guys have seen. I did a process video on this page right here um, with the girls, and I believe I did one on this. Just something really easy. It's just been fun working in it. Like I said, just getting the fall feeling out. So uh, this one I don't think I did a page on. I mean, a, uh, what do you call it? A video on, but it's just with delusion sprays. And this is just stuff I cut out from a paper pad and a stamp that I had and things like that. Uh, I'm not done working on it because I want to put like a Halloween poem or something right here. But and then the, here's the tree and stuff. And I just drew the tree with a pit pen. And so yeah. So that is kind of. And I did a video on that one. So that's what I've been working on lately. Just wanted to catch up with you guys. And I will have another process video coming up probably later tonight on this one that I just did last night. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.